you might think your golden retriever loves it when you squeeze them in a big old hug. Yeah, some definitely do. But the truth is, not all goldens like to be smothered. And the ones that do, don't like it all the time. Some just want their personal space, if they're relaxing, if they're too hot, or they're trying to eat. But that's not the only thing you're accidentally doing that makes your golden retriever uncomfortable. They also don't like it when you cut their hair. Yes, we humans like to get a fresh cut because it makes us look good and feel good. Plus, having shorter hair in the summer can help us not get so hot. But it's the total opposite for golden retrievers. Their coats actually help regulate their body temperatures in both the cold and the heat. Yep, even though their coats are thick, they actually help keep them cool in the hot summer. If you give your pup a haircut in the summer, you're robbing them of their natural protection from the heat. Plus, you'll leave them vulnerable to sunburn. Giving them a haircut can also stop their coat from growing back normally in the future. We fostered an older golden for a few months whose owner used to shave her. She had a thin, scraggly coat that I bet used to be a lot prettier and thicker in the past. So the bottom line is this. Never shave your golden. And if you do decide to give them a little trim, be very careful and don't cut their hair too short. Some people shave their dogs because they have too many mats in their fur. Which brings us to the next thing that goldens hate. Skipping brush day. Golden retrievers need to be brushed a few times a week, and the good news is that it's beneficial for both you and your dog. For you, it helps them shed less and gets the dead fur out of their coat and onto the brush instead of out of their coat and onto your floor. And for your dog, it helps prevent them from getting mats. Mats are knots or tangles in their coat, and they can be really painful for them. Now using the right brush can really help in brushing your pup, so I'll link to a video down in the description about the best brushes for golden retrievers. This isn't the only thing in this video that can cause your golden to be unhealthy, but we'll talk about those other points in a little bit. Now this next thing that goldens hate is something that most of us humans can probably relate to. They hate being alone. Golden retrievers are social animals. They like to be with people and often other dogs. If you work at an office all day and spend the weekends out with friends, then a golden retriever probably isn't the right dog for you. And if you have friends over at your house, your golden will hate if you put them in the back room because they love to socialize and be part of the crew. Even putting them in the backyard alone isn't good. If your golden isn't getting enough attention, they may start to act out and do unwanted behaviors like barking or digging or jumping. Golden retrievers aren't just pets. They're part of your family. And being alone stinks, but this next thing Goldens hate is even worse, getting yelled at. Of course, no human or dog likes to get yelled at, but Golden Retrievers are especially sensitive. They're people pleasers, and when they know that you're mad at them, it eats them up. Many people think that showing your dog that you're the leader of the pack will get them to behave, but it can actually make things worse. This is especially true with puppies and potty training. For some reason, people think it's okay to yell at their puppy when they have an accident in the house. This is bad in so many ways, but here are three that are particularly important. The first one is that it can hurt your relationship with your puppy. The second one is that your puppy doesn't realize they did something wrong. They're new to your house and don't speak your language, so they don't yet know where the bathroom is. And the third reason yelling at your puppy for having an accident is so bad is that it can actually make potty training harder. If they associate going potty with you yelling at them, then they won't want to go when you take them outside and you're standing next to them. Instead, they'll hold it until they get back in the house, go hide in a corner, and go potty where you can't see them. If you want to learn how to potty train your puppy fast, I'll drop a link to our potty training sheet sheet down in the description. This will show you what to do and what not to do when potty training your golden retriever. Of course, nobody likes to get yelled at, but this next thing golden retrievers hate is something that most of us humans just can't relate to. Golden retrievers hate being lazy. They are high energy dogs. They were bred to help hunters retrieve birds and would run through fields, streams, and marshes. A tired dog isn't exactly a good hunting companion, so it's in their blood to have lots of energy and endurance. If you sit at home watching Netflix all day, a golden retriever is not the right dog for you. I'm not saying they can't relax on the couch. My dog is actually sitting on the couch with me right now as we speak, but that's only because we went on a walk and played fetch this morning. So if you get a golden retriever, expect to do fun activities with them, like going on walks, hikes, swimming, or playing games with them. This next thing golden retrievers hate is another one that some people just won't understand. Golden retrievers hate flexible schedules. What do I mean by that? Golden retrievers like routine. They like to know when their next walk is coming and when their next meal will be. 
they don't really have control over their lives. Everything they get is determined by you. So when they learn what time they eat and when they get to go to the restroom, they're able to relax more. That isn't to say that they don't love adventuring with you, but for the most part, they like the routine. Here's another thing golden retrievers don't like, but isn't necessarily under our control. Loud noises. Many dogs don't like loud noises, like fireworks or thunderstorms. If you have a puppy or you're about to get one, you might want to talk to a trainer and see how to desensitize your puppy to these events to make sure that they don't get anxiety when they happen. If your golden already has anxiety during fireworks or thunderstorms, you can try a thunder shirt, which I'll link down to in the description. You can play music, put on the TV, or use a white noise machine to distract them. Last New Year's, we watched Jurassic Park during the fireworks, and our golden cuddled up on the couch with us. It was the best he's been on New Year's in a while. And I have a friend who escapes fireworks by going camping in remote areas with her golden. You can also give your golden retriever medicine to help with their anxiety during these events, but that's definitely something you'll want to talk to your vet about first. You don't have control over thunderstorms, but you do have control over this next thing that golden retrievers hate. Being interrupted during mealtimes. I don't know about you, but I don't like it when someone bothers me in the middle of dinner. And your golden is probably the same. They absolutely love food, and most goldens will act like they haven't been fed in weeks when the food comes out, even though it's only been a few hours. A common behavior problem in golden retrievers is resource guarding. One sign of this is your golden growls at you or other animals when they come near their food. A big myth about this problem is that you can prevent it by interrupting your puppy during mealtimes, taking away their food bowl, or putting your hand in there. This is not an effective prevention and might actually make it worse, so you should let your golden eat in peace without you bothering them. And speaking of food, this next thing golden retrievers hate might be the most important thing on this list. Grain-free diets. Your golden might not actually hate their grain-free food, considering most goldens love all food, but it can be deadly. A study found that a heart disease called dilated cardiomyopathy, or DCM for short, has been increasing in golden retrievers recently. Scientists say that this is likely due to them not getting enough taurine, which is caused by grain-free diets. DCM can be fatal for golden retrievers, so be sure to talk to your vet about what food to feed your pup, and I'll link to a blog post for you in the description with more information about the study. Now this next thing that golden retrievers hate is actually really sweet. Goldens hate it when you're sad. They feed off of your energy. If you're happy and excited, they'll be happy and excited. But if you're sad, they'll sense that, which will also make them sad. The good news here is that there's nothing better than a big, fluffy, golden retriever to cheer you up. After all, they do make great therapy dogs. But still, always remember that your pup is better at noticing your mood than you think. Now, even though they can pick up your mood, that won't always help with this next thing. Golden retrievers don't like to be forced into uncomfortable situations. This might be forcing your dog to play with your neighbor dogs that he doesn't like, making her say hi to people she's a little wary of, or even trying to keep her outside during fireworks, thinking that eventually she'll just get used to it. Making your dog do something they don't want to do might actually make the problem worse. So if your golden retriever has anxiety about an object or a situation, talk to a professional trainer and see how to help them. In the meantime, look out for warning signs that your dog is uncomfortable, like if they're cowering, anxiously licking their lips, if they have their tail between their legs, or they're nervously panting. If you see these behaviors, try to remove them from the situation to a place where they feel more comfortable and then diagnose the problem after. Next is something that most golden retriever owners can relate to. Many goldens hate bath time. It's kind of a running joke that dogs don't like to take baths, but that's not why this is on the list. The important thing to know is that giving your dog a bath too frequently is actually bad for their skin. If you give them a bath more than once a month or so, it can dry out their skin and coat, leaving them itchy and susceptible to infections. Another mistake people make is using the wrong shampoo. I'll link to our video about the best shampoo for golden retrievers down in the description, but at least make sure to use a shampoo that is made specifically for dogs. The opposite of getting a bath is getting dirty, which golden retrievers love. And you can watch this video next to see other weird things that golden retrievers love. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.